Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a cute little popcorn bag. Um, this might be cute for a little movie date or something. Or if you wanted to give it as a gift filled with like maybe tickets or something. I don't know. I'm using it for my purse um, on Halloween. But anyway, um, this is a dollar store craft. You can get two of these little popcorn boxes at Dollar Tree or whatever. And pretty much all the dollar stores have them um, for a dollar. So it's like 50 cents. And then um, I also got some ribbon at the dollar store. I got this ribbed kind. Um, I like it better than the slippy kind. Anyway, um, so here's what I have here on, on this one. It's just some buttons. Um, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently, but I kind of wanted to show you what the finished product would look like. And I made this really long because it's for Halloween, but um, I'm going to make another one. And this one I'm not going to make quite as long because I feel like maybe I went a little overboard this time. And you just have to excuse my frizzy hair. I just got out of the shower and I haven't done anything to it. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is take your ribbon and just kind of measure your shoulder and figure out how long you want it to be. The next thing you're going to do is play with fire. So, you're going to make sure you're a grown person or responsible or something or have somebody help you. Um... So you don't want to light it on fire. All you have to do is bring the fire close to it. And that will melt the end so it won't fray. And that's how you have to do. Um, then you want to take something pokey. And make yourself a really good hole in the side. You could also use a drill. That would probably be the smart thing to do. But I would have to go out to the garage and I don't want to do that. Next, you're going to take the end and fold it up small so you can get it through the hole you just made. Um, and then use a little bit of tape rolled up on that folded end so it ends up looking something like this-ish that you can cram in that hole. And that's what I'm going to do. Just cram it. I have the hardest time getting stuck in the hole when y'all are watching. Okay, and then you can just pull it right through, easy peasy. Um, and all I'm going to do with this one is, to make it easy, pull it through and tie a knot. Very easy. So with that little knot, knotty end, it's not going to come out. So really you could just stop right there and that would be fine if you don't want to embellish it at all. But I like to add little buttons and you can add just a plain, you know, pair of black ones. I'm like, look, I'm like Coraline. Or I'm going to use these fancier ones because I just think they're really pretty. Um, you can get buttons anywhere, but if you want to get free buttons, what you do is you need to find a lady that was born before 1950. And next time you're at her house, be she or Mimi or whoever she is, say, hey, can I please have a couple of buttons? And she will pull out a plastic bag or a shoe box or a cookie tin or something full of buttons. And then you can just choose whichever kind you like. Now I'm going to cram or attempt to cram this button into that hole that I made. Because this fancy button has a little fancy back to it. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to just cut it off. Get in there. to go in the hole. I really don't want to cut that though because then that might come off. 
Okay, so I might not use the... Where's my Coraline button? Instead, I lost my other Coraline button. Well, I'll just use one. Okay, so instead, I can't find my other fancy button, so I'm just going to use my little Coraline button. My glue gun doesn't reach. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little wee bit of glue. Don't put too much, because then it'll glob off the side. Remember how messy I am with glue. And then you can just push it on. And it just looks super cute now. And that's all there is to it. Now you've got, it'll hold it on a little bit more securely than just your little knot. But that little knot will, will hold it in pretty good too. If you wanted to get fancy, you could maybe even cut some, you know, you can just use some no, no, so stitch stuff and make your little liner Velcro it in. Um, but I'm not going to be that fancy. Anyway, oh, there it is. Sort of. It's halfway done. But you get the picture. You don't need to see the full thing. Also, I got to go do my hair. Thank you.